There's two kinds of guys. <laughs> those who fear leg locks and those who are feared because of their leg locks. I've always been the one who feared leg locks. That's a big chunk of why my system is based on clinching is also to avoid leg locks. I was, there was always leg lock with guys coming through the gym, always dealing with leg lock guys. Shigeki, are you kidding? Templin and Black Belt, he was doing leg locks in Honey Hole since 2004, 2003. So a lot of the, the development was like, and that's Marcelo Garcia's theory too, it's not just mine. He says the same exact thing. I go, how's your leg lock defense? He says, it sucks. I just don't let anybody around my legs. So it's good and bad. I'm very good at not letting dudes put me in bad spots. It happens every now and then, but I'm pretty good at that. But once I get put in the leg lock position, I'm not known for this amazing leg lock defense, although it's getting better, all right? I used to be one who feared leg lockers. Not anymore, I wanna, I wanna in my old age, before I die, <laughs> Before I hang it up, I want to be feared for my, for my heel hooks as well. Why not? Why not, right? And that's what we're doing right now. We're doing it right now. What the fuck have we been doing the last three weeks? This shit. This shit. Ultimately, not only do you have to worry if you're going against a high level 10th planet guy, if you're not working on electric chair defense, you saw what happened. If you're not working on, you got to address some rubber guard. Guy got a good rubber guard, he's a black belt, and you're not going to. Address that in your training, not even a little bit. Basic fucking defense. You're smart, you'd have a guy coming in playing rubber guard. You know what I'm saying? If you're smart. You go against a high level 10 planet black belt, you gotta worry about his rubber guard, you gotta worry about those electric damn chairs. You gotta worry about his twister. You're not gonna address that, he just twisted three dudes. You're not gonna address that? Ooh, that's not a good idea. Understand the position, but you're also gonna have to worry about his heel hooks too. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make damn sure of that. I'm on a mission, for me too. But for all you guys, I want all you guys. All you guys. Just like when Nathan Orchard's doing the 10th Planet of Portland, he's turning them into leg lock, fuck it, like a squadron of leg lockers. I want that shit here too, all right? It makes lockdowns Man. easier. Oh, damn. I used to have to fight for trick motherfuckers for a lockdown. I had to play mind games that you talk to to get a goddamn lockdown. Now you throw some heat, some serious heat, where they're worried about your leg lock and your heel hooks, they just jump in the electric chairs. They're like, I'm like, what? I used to have to fight for this, boom! You don't have to fight for it. But you got that being a legit threat with the heel hooks, a legit threat. You got a legit threat with heel hooks? Dude, that changed the whole fucking game. Dude, they're scared to death of going against Eddie Cummings. It's like, holy shit. Husamar Pajaras, people are scared to death of going against Husamar Pajaras. They're scared to death. Like, oh shit. All he did is get really good at leg locks. All right, we got, we're, we're on a mission. You wanna hang out? It's not too hard to learn, even if it's your first day today. That's the basic path. That's the hard setup to Ashi. We're looking for setups to Ashi. Garandi, I think so. I'm just calling that leg configuration Ashi. Then you want double outside Ashi. And then you can turn that into a knee bar and then keep rotating and you're in the honey hole. You understand that progression? Basic progression. There's a lot of different other shit that can happen. Other leg configurations. We haven't really touched on 50-50 uh, that much offensively. Defensively, we have. I taught a seminar. Opened up with defensive 50-50. The shit I learned from Alan Belcher. I like teaching that, the shit that I learned from other people, so I don't forget. I start teaching it right away, boom. Some new shit, bring it in right away so you don't forget. And then you get good at it right away. Yeah, there's 50-50 leg configurations. That's a whole different style. And then there's all the leg compressions. You sprinkle all the toe holds and all the different angles. And the knee bars. Knee bars, toe holds, all over. But basically, we're gonna keep it simple. For right now, it might evolve. It probably will evolve and get more technical. But right now, it's Ashi. We're here. We gotta get to this position. Here's Ashi. That leg configuration. And then if I get this leg out here, that's double outside Ashi with the splatel. Very important to get good at this. Boom. That's a good one. That's worse. Way worse than this one. This one's good too, but he could open those legs up. He could. Here, how are you going to open those legs up here? It's impossible. You can't open them up here. 
Only hope he has is to grab my hand. If he can grab my hand, he's good. Very hard. Um, and you have to really focus on the fact that we're doing all this stuff without grabbing, um, uh, in the, uh, when we, we're at Ashi here, when we're coming in from this entry here where we're both sitting on our butts, we're gonna change it now. When we're here, when we come in, bam, we grab the leg, we yank on that leg, and we get into Asha here. Right here, I want just to control this leg and bend this leg with my elbow on his foot here. And I'm controlling here, squeezing my legs tight. I'm on my shoulder. I want to get in here, just like that. I got in on the inside here. Look, I'm just grabbing this leg. There's a few different ways to grab it, but this is a good one right here. And I pull when I get in here, and I'm just tight right here, holding onto this, squeezing. And the art of fishing for that heel hook, you need to polish that shit. So you gotta feel comfortable here, staying tight, keeping this leg bent here. I'm keeping this leg bent here. And then I'm gonna lean forward, push with my hip, that the, the heel hook begins to pop out. And then you give it a little hip bump, and then it, you feel it popping, and then you time it. So I'm here, and then the heel's escaping, and then I give it a little bump right there, and then boom, on the wrist, and I'm squeezing. And then we go back to leg control here. And then I get out here. Now I got the splato going. Same thing. Same thing. Holding this. He could be grabbing my wrist. That's not going to do shit for him. He's got to grab my head. So the same thing, fishing for that heel hook. There's going to be battles here. You should be very confident here. Like, expect the battles. Right here. He's in a bad spot. This could take two, three minutes. Again, see, I'm gonna rock forward and then pop that heel out, and then we're here. All right, so now that's the next path. The first path was here. And then we go, boom, take that heel, and then we come back. And then, boom, we're here. Pop that heel, and they twist. They're really strong there. Right now we're butt to butt, and we're going to Ashi. We know we need the inside. I can't get to Ashi if I don't. He's gonna beat me. See, so it's all about yanking those legs and making it happen here. It's gonna, it's gonna be really easy on Frankie. See, well, chicken leg. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You should already have the entry down here. Focus on the heel hook. Boom! Feel it pop. And then go back and then bam! And then lean forward, make it pop. Boom! You okay? Yeah. Then why are you giving me those mad dog eyes? <laughs> My man. If you got something to say, say it. Right? <laughs> say it, Franco. Your foot all right? Think so. Okay. Better get insurance, kid. A bunch of different ways you can go. All these knee bars and, and uh, toe holds and stuff. This is the basic little path showing you what's available, turning it into something nice and easy to understand. We're just trying to get here. Here's even better. And then if shit ain't working out here, we gotta get up, sit on his stomach and switch it. We wanna control these toes and keep this hook here. If I can get this control here, right here on the toes, not the foot, then he's in trouble. I'm gonna go right into the honey hole. If I can get this, don't go to the honey hole, if you can grab this, boom, it's going to be very hard for him, boom. We hit him with the heel hook, go after this leg. Hit that one, why not? Then go Tony Montana here, boom, bam, if you want. Oh, you okay? Is that your big toe? <laughs> Get in there, it's an art, the feeling, getting that heel, that's an art. It takes, you've got, it's like punching the back. You know how to punch the bag? Why are you still punching the bag after 15 years? Still punching the bag? Because <laughs> you gotta stay sharp with every little movement. Right here, you're in trouble. I'm not. Seven, ten. Put them together. At the 
latest, and we all got to get after it, right? Okay. Sorry about that seminar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to the other side, now you're just back in Ashigram. Mm -hmm. You can do heel hooks from Ashigram all day long. You can go for this, right? Or you can grab the triangle at the same time. All kinds of things. Does that make sense? Yeah. Fucking studying here, dude. That is terrifying and awesome for me. Thank you. No, no. Let me get a picture of you, man. Let me grab my phone.